Për shëndetje të gjithve dhe mirë se erdhët në podcast në radhës. Ndryshen nga podcastet e tjerë, në këtë podcast unë kam vendosur që të kemi një tëftuar tjetër shumë special nga i cili jam i sigur që do të mësoni shumë, por edhe do të frimzoheni një kosish, sepse kjo është ajo që ka unë duha të ju ofroj në podcastet e mija. Frimzim, pse jo, dhe një ide ndoshta për tecu për para apo për të avancuar në gjërat që ju bëni. Në, poskat, në podcastin e sotën do t'jemi me Aleksi Murat, i cili është një nga bashkëpuntorët e mi më të mirë në biznes dhe po ashtu arsye pëse unë e kam fëtuar sepse edhe pëse është shumë njëri është vetëm 23 vjeq ka një eksperiencë letë themi për moshën e ti të jashtë zakonshme në biznes dhe po ashtu dhe në studime që ka kryer e jo është student në Universitetin e Yale në Amerikë, për ata që nuk e njohë nëse nuk e një një Google <laughs> dhe do të mësoni shumë uh, por unë dua që Aleksi sigurisht në prezentohet më tepër edhe të nga tregoj pak më shumë bi vetën e ti normalisht pësa nga jo që tha shumë kështu që do të alo atoj që të prezentohet vetë por për para se t'ju tregoj se kush është Aleksi dhe qëfar bën Aleksi dhe për para se a i të flasi vetë dua që të kuptoni që gjdo pyeti që unë do të drejtoj Aleksi t'jam pyeti e të ardhura nga ju kjo ishte i qëllime podcastit e ju të mësoni dhe pse ju të shua një kuriozitetin tuaj. Kështu që pyetje par për Aleksin është Who is Alex? And how does all this started for you? This journey, this beautiful journey? Well, um, first of all, thank you, Olga, for inviting me today. <laughs> it's a pleasure. Um, so basically, I'm a student, student entrepreneur at the same time. I study at Yale University, as you already said. I understood a bit. But I also work on my companies. I have launched five companies in total. And uh, the most famous one is Easy Virtual Tour, which offers virtual tours services of buildings, etc. Uh, and we are part of the Easy Group. Uh, I bet you, you know EasyJet and those brands. So we are part of this brand and we are now working with Stelios, the founder of EasyJet. Um, so basically, yeah, um, I'm an entrepreneur and also a student, a student at the same time. Um, it all started a long time ago. A uh, funny story is that when I was six years old, mm-hmm. I was uh, taking leaves on the floor and rolling fake cigarettes. <laughs> on the <laughs> and I was selling those in primary school. I was like seven years old and I was selling those cigarettes uh, in school, making five euros uh, profit from each cigarette. Uh, so I was already a, a kind of entrepreneur. I loved making businesses, managing... Uh, you were born like, like this? Yeah, that's the, that's <laughs> okay. the thing. So that's how it, it all started because I was like that since the beginning. I loved it. Okay. It's kind of a passion. Okay. It was it was really nice. I also have uh, other question for you, but I need to read it because I can remember all. What are some of the ways that a young man or a young woman can start to make money online? Well, basically there are plenty of ways to make money online. Um, it's of obviously easier to say than to do, but uh, you can first go for e-commerce and dropshipping, for example. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you, you do train people to, to launch their dropshipping business with e-commerce angels. Uh, there is also freelancing. You can do freelance on Fiverr, those kind, of, those kind of platforms like doing some web marketing, uh, SEO, whatsoever. Um, you can go also for online tutoring. When you're an expert in a specific area, you could um, train people in this specific area. Um, you can also do some online surveys and, and, and micro tasks. Uh, there are some platforms like on Amazon, the Amazon Me- Mechanical um, Turk. You can, you, can, you can make a bit of money like this easily with like a few hours each day. Um, but there are many, many different ways you can do affiliate marketing and even even cryptocurrency whatsoever. Um, it's pretty easy. There are plenty of ways. And it also depends on what you like, what you want to do. It's not only about just making money. It's also doing what you enjoy doing. Okay. Thank you for the ideas. As a multi-business owner, how do you find balance in your life? Um, <laughs> I don't know if I do find balance, but basically it's a, kind, it's a matter of organization and prioritization. Uh, I use my calendar, my to-do list, I'm h- highly, highly organized, uh, yeah, my, my whole day is sequenced in, in different tasks uh, yeah, during each hour or half hours. Uh, so that's the first thing. The second one would be delegation. I delegate a lot. A lot. Um, my, my, my employees uh, work a lot, legally, <laughs> the, they do their hours uh, as they should, but I, I give them a lot of tasks and missions 
an objective so that I, I would have less work to do and I would be able to manage my studies and, and, and my companies at the same time. And lastly, I would say um, it's also understanding that you need to do some sport to be healthy, sleep well, rest well. That's extremely important. It's not only about, it's not about working 100 hours per week. It's also about taking care of yourself. Otherwise, we just burn out and all the work will be useless at the end. Sure. It's, it's really important. And uh, how can someone, uh, someone find an idea for online business, for a startup? do something how can well you can identify problems and needs around you surrounding you anywhere on, on the street and in a restaurant where online uh, in the socials you can you can you can see many issues that you can solve uh, you can also ask some people around you mm -hmm. what kind of issue you are facing etc that's like when you want to have a new idea that no nobody had before um, but i basically believe in doing what others do but in a better way so what i do usually is that i analyze the market the trends etc for example vr with one of my company we do virtual reality and uh, I, i i look at the competitors what are they doing okay they do that great there is potential and i i, I see the flaws and issues in their business model and business plan and we're gonna do this and this and this in a better way so that will be 10 times better than them So I don't find the new idea that nobody had before because that's not really how it works. <laughs> If you look at Zuckerberg, he, 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 he stole the idea of someone else. Even Elon Musk with Tesla, he wasn't the first one to do electric cars. It, it existed before. So it's, it's more about doing what exists already, but better. That's what I have to tell you. Mm. <laughs> I Very tell that uh, in my lesson mm -hmm. really often. And what are the essential elements, some of the essential elements to have success in business as a beginner? Um, as a beginner, it means you don't have much experience or mm -hmm. maybe none. Um, first of all, it's, it's mostly about, about willpower and mindset. Mm -hmm. If you have a huge mindset, well, if you believe in what you're doing, if you believe that you're going to succeed, Uh, for example, I never, I, I, I never think by saying, oh, uh, if, if I succeed, I'm always like, I will succeed anyway. And that's, mm -hmm. how it, how, how, that's how it's going to be. Yeah, so good. maybe I will fail, so I decide my, my straight vision objectives and aim. Um, but you, maybe you're going to fail, maybe what you were convinced about will fail. But it's not an issue, then you're going to learn, you're going to be resilient. So it's more, if you're a beginner, it's about mindset and willpower. Um, It's also about being open-minded. You have to be open, uh, network with other people, being surrounded by uh, people with the same mindset as yours, people who are entrepreneurs, who have ideas, who are, who are hard workers. That's really important, being open-minded. And lastly, um, being a risk taker, you have to take risks. If you're a beginner, you don't know anything. So you have to be a risk taker, accept that you will fail, uh, and, uh, and uh, yeah, basically, be a risk taker. Another question that I have for you, it's about relationship. How does the relationship affect the success of a business? What solution do you have for that? How do you support that uh, relationship in your life avec, uh, avec ta famille, uh, with your family, with your friends, with other people? How do you choose the people that you have in your life around well, you? We don't choose family, so uh, we don't <laughs> choose someone for the family. Uh, regarding friends, um, I also don't really choose. It's all about the feeling, the energy between each other. But it's it's more and more about the studies and, and the entrepreneurship, etc. I'm more and more surrounded by entrepreneurs, by bright students, etc. Um, but regarding family and, and social life, um, I don't have the right balance yet, I think, because I don't see my family that much. Mm -hmm. uh, like Maybe I see them once every six months, uh, when, when I can, when I can. But um, that's a choice. Because bye bye family. <laughs> no, not bye bye family, <laughs> but uh, see, you, see you next time. Um, uh, just to finish, um, it's, 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 about, it's, it's a choice. I made this choice of, I, I have this ambition, this objective, so I will work as much as I can. And I will sacrifice uh, sometimes uh, to not see my family and, and I accept it. Another question. Do you think that school is important to be successful? You are an excellent student, you study in Yale University. 
this well, classroom it's all about that yeah <laughs> but school, important. <laughs> school uh, is important it is not mandatory so mm -hmm. you can succeed without school uh, anyone can succeed without school I think that school is more like a booster it, it, it helps you to gain some years of work uh, because you get the knowledge knowledge you get a network you get the activities and opportunities mm -hmm. Uh, for example, I was talking about Easy Virtual Tour. Uh, I couldn't get into Easy Group without being a student because I'm a student in one of Stelios, the founder of EasyJet, one of Stelios uh, University. So mm -hmm. he's an alumni from my London University, and so we are we have a link together. We are we are it creates connections and networking. So that's and I gained like maybe ten years of work by joining Easy Group. Um, so you don't join this school to succeed. Uh, it, 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 will, it will just take a bit more time, I think, for some of you. I found school also, it's a challenge mm. to see how much we work, how much we can, uh, we could, we can be, uh, we can achieve something. If we can achieve something of, or not, it's yeah, a yeah, challenge, it's a real challenge. It's for me, for example, it has been a real challenge. Really? Yes. <laughs> Interesting, yeah. Uh, yeah. It teaches you how to be uh, organized, how to... Uh, how to handle uh, handle like tough situations, mm. etc. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And what about vision? Who is your vision for the future? In business or uh, in your life? It's a pretty broad <laughs> question, so uh, I, I would just choose one specific topic. Uh, I believe in AI a lot. I think AI is the future right now. Uh, I do VR, AR, all those new technologies and innovation. But I think that AI is the thing. Uh, to invest in, to, to work in, etc. Because, um, of course, AI helps us to, to do many, many different tasks. But I think AI will, at the end, do the job of many, 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 many people. We'll need a training for that. So. Yeah, so we, we, could, we could do training together about this. I would love to. Of course, why not? Another question. Why we need to have an example, an ideal in our life? And who is yours? I don't have any. You don't have any? I don't have any. Okay. I, I, I follow Elon Musk. Many of my friends call me Elon, <laughs> like in Bocconi, they, call, they, they were all calling me Elon. Uh, I love Elon Musk because he's so crazy, he has insane ideas, <laughs> he's a hard worker. I, I like his vision, but um, I don't really have an idol. Like, it's just about... I, I just listen, I just learn from the others, listen to each, each and everyone's advice. Not, not even the brightest entrepreneurs could be the smallest entrepreneurs, I even listen to them. Uh, and I take anything I can take um, and learn, so that um, yeah, I don't have a specific idol. I just talk you have to yourself. I have, yeah, kind of. <laughs> let's say if you want. Another question that I have for you is: Where do you see yourself in uh, twenty years? After twenty years, um, by then I would love to sell some of my companies, uh, having a lot of money, enjoying my life. Let's say a billionaire, a future billionaire. Billionaire will be a lot, we never know, but I don't know, we'll see, who knows. 20 see. years could be achievable, we never know. But mm -hmm. um, um, what I would do is, is I would love to make a difference in people's life, uh, improve their lives, mm -hmm. find new ways to, to improve productivity, to improve whatever health, whatever I can change. I want to move the status quo. The status quo, for those who don't know, is like uh, the things we already know, we already do, is just we get we stay in our comfort zone. But I love to move it, to change it, to change it, and, and improve uh, uh, processes, strategies, etc. You want to change the world? Change the world if I if I can, <laughs> but in a better way. Maybe maybe you know you can even change like a small part of the world. It's not about changing the whole world. It could be changing a country, changing a city, <laughs> changing a company, just uh, creating creating new 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 employment. So you change the world in a certain way. Yeah. And who is your mission in your life? Um, I wanna my, my, my personal mission is to achieve uh, um, my ambi my social and financial ambitions mm -hmm. first of all. Um, but once again, it's also about having an impact. I wanna have an impact on this world. I don't want people to I want people to remember be, remember remember me in a good way. To be like okay, so Alexis he helped those communities. He did that. He innovated in that way. When you think about Elon Musk, you're like oh my god, this guy is insane. Thanks to him, we're gonna get to Mars. Thanks to him, we're gonna have wonderful electric cars, stuff like this. I would love people to talk that way about me too. Very interesting. And uh, the last question is, if you were in the front of someone who want to change the world 
and the way that people work and make money, who would be your advice for, for him? Um, I say it very often, but once again, get out of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Comfort zone is the worst thing possible. Mm -hmm. I have been five different countries in four years. Where? Uh, well, in the US, uh, in, in the UK, in Germany, in France, and the last, and in Italy. So yeah, many, many countries have lived there uh, for a year or six months, depending on, on the place. But it's getting out of your comfort zone, meeting new people, networking, going on business events, um, learning from the others, um, changing, changing your city, your country, your, your, your position in the job, changing even your job. Um, that's extremely important getting out of your comfort zone otherwise you will not you won't achieve anything if you stay in your comfort zone at the end you stay in your job you don't change your life and nothing happens and you you, you cannot succeed if you if you cannot succeed if you try if you can if you don't try it um, also regarding that I would say embrace failure that means see failure as something good not something bad that's extremely important because um, if you are scared of failure, you, you will never get out of your comfort zone and never take risks. And if you don't, then you will never succeed. If you don't take the risks, you never succeed. And that's a big issue. So if you believe that failure is a good thing, that failure helps you learn a lot, get experience, and that failure will get you to success, then at the end, um, you won't be scared of taking any risks. Um, and lastly, I already said it, but I will say it one more time, it's about willpower and mindset. Having a super strong, powerful mind, mindset changes everything. If, you're, if you believe in what you do, if you believe in what you're going to achieve in your life and, and in, your, in your visions and you're in, in, in your capacity to, to, to achieve what you want to achieve, then at the end you're going to achieve it. Even, maybe, even be, maybe in 50 years, but you will achieve it one day anyway. I love your mindset and I want to wish you all the best in your business and thanks in your so life. And thanks a lot for this podcast. Thank you, Alka. Thank you. Dhe e kryshtë e podcast e që unë dojë të gjvilloja sot me ju, së bashku me Aleksin, shpresoj që t'ju ka dhe në të dozën e dur të motivimit, ndoshtë e ju ishe mund t'jeni në ato fazat e parat biznesit tua, apo ndoshtë e jeni të rinjë si Aleksit inspiruar për të bërgjera të mdha në jetë, shpresoj që se cili prej ju shtë arri gjithë shka që dëshiron, dhe mbi gjitha mos të haroni që një mindset i fort edhe shumë pun, do t'ju bëj që të arri një gjithë shka që ju dëshironi. Ju për shëndes dhe shjemi në podcastin e radhës. Bye bye.